If you have an older iPhone, these are important things that I would recommend you do immediately. So if you have an iPhone 15 or older, iPhone 14, iPhone 13, 12, maybe even an iPhone SE, these are really important things that you need to do to take care of your older phone so that it'll last for many more years. But before I walk through all of that, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is head into the settings app on your iPhone. After you've opened that settings app, at the very bottom, tap on the general option and then software update. You can see the current version is iOS 26.0.1. However, keep in mind, this operating system was built basically with in mind iPhone 17 and iPhone 17 Pro, which have really fast processing speeds. Now, if you look at this chart, basically this has iPhone 16 at the top. You don't necessarily need to know what these numbers mean, but you can see iPhone 16 is at 8,200. But if you go down and say you're at an iPhone 14, now you're at 5,500. Or even if you go down to an iPhone SE, now you're at 3,000. Quite a bit lower, almost one third of the processing power and speed as the newer iPhones. So keep in mind, if you do have an older iPhone, you might wanna consider keeping an older iOS operating system that doesn't take advantage of those really powerful newer, basically phones and swamp out your phone. The next thing I would recommend doing is going back to the very beginning of your settings and let's check your battery life and make sure that it extends as long as possible. So from here, we're gonna tap on battery and then the first thing we're going to do is tap on battery healthier. Now, this should say your maximum capacity is something above 80%. If you have an older iPhone, keep in mind that max capacity does go from 100% down, but it never really should go below 80 or 85%. If it's below 80 or 85%, you might want to consider replacing your battery or taking it to Apple and saying there's an issue with your battery. Now, after you've done that, I would also highly recommend going into charging and consider either turning on optimized battery charging or certain setting the charge limit to 85 or 90%. Essentially what this does is it helps prolong the battery life on your iPhone so that you can keep using it down the road and it won't keep running out and degrading that battery life over time. So setting that charge limit to a lower charge limit will definitely help that. I would also recommend going back out of here and let's do some things to help your battery life. Let's go to general here and then scroll down and tap on background app refresh. From here, if this is turned on, this allows any app to basically run in the background using a ton of your older phone's battery life, which already, if it is an older phone, is struggling to make it through the day. So let's turn this off. It'll only use up apps, battery, or processing when you open that app up. Now, after we've done that, let's go back out of here to the very beginning of your settings again. Scroll down until you get to display and brightness and then scroll down to the always on display. If this is turned on or an option on your phone, I would highly recommend turning this off, again, to help prolong your battery life on your older iPhone. Now, after we've done that, turn that off, let's go back to the very beginning. Another thing to keep in mind on older iPhones is that they could die at any point. So the older they get, the older all of the electronics gets, and keep in mind, there is a higher risk that it'll just die on any given day. So to basically prevent the catastrophe of losing all of your information, let's just make sure everything is backed up. Let's tap on your name at the very top, and then tap on iCloud midway down. Now, after you're on here, you can see iCloud backup midway down. Let's tap on that. And then you can see backup and last successful backup, in my case, was 2.33 a.m. If you have backup this iPhone turned off, make sure to turn it on. And on here, you might want to tap on backup just to backup everything. Make sure you have a copy of everything. 
You can also go back and hit save to iCloud and hit seal and make sure all of these are toggled on so that you're saving all of this information to your iCloud. Again, just in case your iPhone dies on any given day, you'll have everything backed up either to your iCloud or as that one backup that should run periodically, usually once a day when you plug it in and recharge it. Now, after we've done all that, let's go back to the very beginning of your settings again. After you're at the beginning of the settings, let's scroll down, tap on general, and then iPhone storage. You're going to want to check at the very top to make sure you have enough storage space available. Now, keep in mind, ideally, you would have something along the lines of a gigabyte free data or free space or at least 500 megabytes. If you're running out of space on your older iPhone, this will make it run even slower, especially if you have newer operating systems and you have all of these battery intensive apps running on your phone. So keep in mind, if you're running out of space on any of these apps that you don't use very often, you can always just go to the app and then you can choose to offload the app and then reinstall it when you want to use it again. Another cool fact or uh, feature is that you can tap on size here and you can switch it to last used date. So I can scroll down here and find some apps towards the bottom that I don't use very frequently. And on any of these different ones, I can always just offload those or completely delete them to free up some space on your older iPhone. Again, this will help it run and operate a lot more smoothly by going through all of these steps. I hope to prolong the life of your older iPhone. If this helped you, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me. Thanks, guys.